Welcome everybody to our biggest challenge video today. In this video, we're gonna be racing to Scotland, but not on foot. you seen any of our challenge videos yet on the channel if not check them out we've got the sky athlon and we've got running up Snowden, just to name two of them and there's gonna be more coming your way over the course of the year so it is the day before we start this challenge um, it's the morning of which is why you can probably hear the birds in the background and today uh, we're doing the final prep before we travel so I've got to go to the barbers and things like that anyway you don't really care so what is this challenge all about well like most of the challenges we do on this channel it started with an argument uh, and we were arguing I say we is um, Toby uh, Simon and admin uh, Sabrina were arguing about the quickest way to get to the Edinburgh Marathon now we've got to travel up to Scotland to do the Edinburgh Marathon on Sunday and we was arguing about the quickest way to get there what's best what's most convenient all that kind of stuff which you usually do when you're sort of uh, out there running on your long runs you argue about these things well we do anyway we was um discussing this and we thought right what is the quickest way to get there now we dismissed car because i know where you are in the uk um, in the rest of the world here in the uk the cost of fuel is just off the charts in terms of expensive so uh, we dismissed that and we know that the milk flow toby's electric car will never get us to scotland so we dismissed that and that left us two options now those two options were plane or train so we said to ourselves let's split up into two teams and uh, race to scotland because it would just be a lot so what we've done is Simon and I have booked train tickets uh, from King's Cross to, um, I was going to say Glasgow to Edinburgh, but in the centre of Edinburgh. And Admin and Speedgo have booked plane tickets on EasyJet from London Stansted Airport um, at 9.15, uh, which can be taken off and it takes about an hour to get there, but they fly into the airport, which is outside of town. Now, Simon and I have been really clever, and they don't know this. And even at the point at which I'm filming this, they don't know this, that... Um, when we was sort of putting the rules together, uh, um, I call them guidelines because they're sort of um, bendable, um, they uh, all agreed that 6.45 would be the start time, but they didn't say where the start time was going to be. So what Si and I have done is uh, we've moved our train time. Originally, we was on the 8 o'clock from King's Cross. Now, that would have got us in about 12.30, so we had no chance of winning that. Uh, of winning the race with a with a 12:30 uh, finish time. So what we did without them knowing is we pulled our train time forward. And what that means is that we've got to get up super super early, but it's worth it to try and win the race to get to King's Cross. And we're going to be basically there at 6:45 for the seven o'clock train because they didn't say anywhere in the rules what we can and can't do. So we're going to be in London, ready to go. Where they're going to be here in Essex. Um, when I say here in Essex, Essex is like a mile that way. Um, and they're going to be started in Harlow, and they've got to get the train to Stansted Airport. So we've cheated a little bit ish um, just to try and get ahead because otherwise we'd have had no chance in this challenge. Saturday is go day. Uh, is go day. Um, I'll catch up with you in the morning and we'll get into uh, the race and then we'll um, yeah we'll keep you posted all the way uh, as we get to Scott this is going to be fun people so just sit back relax and basically just watch the race unfold it's going to be hilarious um, I'm sure it's not going to go to plan so let's see what is the quickest way to the end of a marathon <laughs> Manger. Cheers, everybody. It is early. Well, it was early when it saw. Very early. Um, but we've had some good news. Potential good news. Um, uh, anyway, so let's just go back a step. So we were on we're seven o'clock train. We've just been called. We're going to go and get it at the moment. Uh, platform one. Was it? Uh, something like that. Something like that, and it's on time. But here's the thing. What Sai's just found out about our racing partners tell him. Well, it's 38 minutes the tram. <laughs> from the airport so and they only come every seven minutes every so basically when they land hopefully they miss it in edinburgh and we'll come onto their flight and everything a bit later on but 
they have to get a tram. Where we, this is this is the thing. We land, land. We arrive in the centre of town, and we have got four minutes to get there. Dave, he's just found out that they've got thirty-eight minute trek on the tram, so that could be the difference because they're, they're going to get, get there. Yeah, Paul. Thirty-eight yeah. minutes. Hopefully, miss the tram. Yeah. Seven minutes. Yeah. We'll work it out because we've got four hours to work it out. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Right, so we're now going to go get on the train because uh, we want to get this early train for 15 minutes. So we'll update you when we get on it and we'll run you through exactly what's going on. And we're expecting a call from them any, any minute because they're, they're on the road. Right, so let's go and get on this train. Come on. Right, so this leaves at seven o'clock, um, and he gets us in at eleven twenty-eight. We've got about four, or five minute, probably four minute run. <laughs> four, I would say, guess say five minutes. Yeah, let's say five minutes, right? Now, Admin's already screwing me because Tobes is late picking her up. Because I've allowed them, by the way, changeables. I've allowed Toby to drive to the airport. It makes no odds. Because it makes no difference, and and selfishly, yeah. we wanted to lift home from the airport, so we changed. It. We changed the rules to allow them to drive to the airport, just basically so we can get over. Their flight leaves and their flight leaves. Yeah, they can't do nothing about the flight. No, that's right. Because again, the winner is the person, the per, the people in the lobby, uh, in the hotel fastest, right? We are keeping an eye on total time travelling, but it's the first group into the uh, reception. So we get there eleven twenty eight. As long as this thing just like does what it's meant to do. Hopefully, it picks its pace up. Yeah, I think it's a bit lively. And then after that. We get to, so we, sh we should get there about 25 to, like hotel, right? They land, it's a 9.15 flight, and they land at what? They're meant to land at 10.30. It says estimated arrival, 10.25. So 10.25, they then got, let's say what, 25 minutes to get out, out of the plane? Hopefully. So let's say 11. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you, no, no. Quarter two. Quarter two. And then you've probably got. Okay, they missed the tram. Missed the tram, and then probably. So what's that? It's about 11 40. It's going to be tight. It's touch and go. This is tight. This is really tight. Strange people on it now. Breakfast of champions. Look. Tell. Look. <laughs> <laughs> First thing he's not happy about, no bacon roll, so he's got sausage. But look, who's, sausage who's the athlete? Look, be fair. I'm the athlete on this trip. And you, he's gone he's meatless. So what, he's vegan. I should have the vegan. Because this, I can't really have this because it's non-vegan. It's non-vegan, is it? Yes, yeah, so have this. Try that fat. Look at that, look. Let's, let us know in the comments. What on earth is that? Looks like a trip to the toilet more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> that looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Are you going to eat that? Yeah. Let's know it's a... I can pay for this. <laughs> Come on, let the viewers know what it tastes like. Out of ten? Just steady eight. An eight? A nine? There's no way. There's no, there's no way that's an eight. No way. It actually tastes really good. Oh, it looks disgusting. Yeah, two hours since I left home. Right, one hour fifty-one since I left home. And sitting in the parcha lounge. Oh. It's good watching this, isn't it? So they just announced our flights are coming in. And then they got a de disembark it? Not disembark, disembark. And then uh, we can board. So we, we've still, we've still got half an hour. Yeah, half an hour before the scheduled takeoff. There's rumours of delays, but we're we're, we're positive. We're, we're all right. still staying boarding, uh, and at this rate, we should still beat the other two there. Yeah, I mean they're not. What are they doing? I mean, Sai's got managed to bring a fruit bowl. I think he brought that for the camera. 
I don't think it's actually eating any of it. No, because he's just talking to yeah. me. So. And we had porridge for breakfast. No, 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 I had porridge. You had your breakfast and then some of my breakfast. You didn't want to go to waste. Yeah, but and now we're having a coffee from Pret. Yeah. We're, we're sharing the Leon and Pret and you know, we're going around giving everyone a bit. So there we go. But yeah, so the plane is due in. And then we'll um, let you know if we leave on time. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> Toad's been stopped in security <laughs> at the airport. We think it's because he's short. Um, but he's generally just been stopped in security. <laughs> Do you reckon he's his chills? I ain't got his chills, I've got his chills. What have they stopped him for? He might, it's because he looks moody. No, he probably, we've probably got his gels, but he probably took like a, a litre of water with him. Oh yeah, he's so <laughs> thick he would have taken water with him. Oh, that's quite it. He's been stopped to security. His day's getting worse. Hello. Bit of a delay in there, admin. No, yeah, not at all. According to the app. According, we, to, the uh, according to the standard. According to the standard. According to the standard. Nine, you're okay. going, you're okay. departing at 9.40. Yeah, thank you. And you're, thank you. and you're arriving at 10.50 now, according to the, uh, there's a delay of 20 minutes according to Stan's to that. We're, we're, we're linked okay, into the air. What? We're, we've got it as a scheduled delay, so. I think. Oh, well, it's because they've updated that before terminal board didn't here, so. Yeah, it's 10, 10.50. Yeah. It, so your arrival time, so. You're going to have to get a bit lively when you get there, aren't you? Uh, sorry, getting on the Are you on the trains? Yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, waiting to depart. Yeah, so, up and running. They, uh, apparently there's a delay, Toby. On the, on the there is a delay, there is a delay. I'll just send you the screenshot. We're, we're screenshot it and send it to you, but... Alright, send us a screenshot. We're just having a breakfast. 10.50. She's gone. She's got the arm. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's got the arm. Apparently, like, don't worry. We are so going to win this. We, unless we get a problem down there, we're going to win this. Can you imagine her face? Can you imagine her face? She's so competitive when we walk in. And, and she walks in and we're sitting there, chilling. Oh, that's the best. That is the best. So, 10.50. <coughs> 10.50, even if they get out of the airport. Half hour, half hour to get they, out of the airport. If they get out of the airport at 10.50, they won't. They, that, that means it's 40 minutes. That's 12 o'clock. That's, that's 12 o'clock. That's half past, and then you're talking 10 minute walk, that's 22. Yeah, you're talking 12 o'clock. That's if they get out at 10.50. I'm telling you, that's 12 o'clock. And we're getting at 11 28. She's ready. Oh, this is seen it. Right, next up, guys, when they take off. onto the plane, found our extra leg room seats which are, <laughs> I hate to see what the standard seats are like, uh, but anyway, all good. Um, I've tried to work out what the uh, other two are, but um, all I got was a picture that said by a bush. Well, according to National Rail, there's somewhere between King's Cross and York. Okay. Well, um, York's the first stop, yeah. Yeah, so 45 minutes from York, so maybe Doncaster? And we found out they departed eight minutes late. We're currently five minutes till the scheduled departure time. I've been travelling what, two hours twenty now? Two and a half hours, yeah. Yeah. So, so on track. I think we're right, even if we leave late, I reckon we've uh, got some time in the bag. We're gonna run. Now we're gonna figure out a plan for when we land and how we actually No get no 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 no. You're gonna figure out the plan. Yeah, well I've got a plan but it all depends on how quick we can get out of the airport. That is true. Well, like, what would you give my rating out of 10 so far for travelling with me? Seven and a half. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, seven and a half at a push. You were late. You did get stopped no, in security. No, no. I was late. You did spill your coffee. But, no, no. But we were still okay, way ahead of yeah. 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 schedule. Yeah. 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 That was going to happen anyway. Before we ask you to activate one. Alright, seven. I'll go for a seven. Solid seven at, what, 9, 11am. Let's see what it's like after. <laughs> yeah, let's see what it's like when we get to Edinburgh. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. I'll take seven. We'll see you, uh, On the other side. In Scotland. Yeah, 
they're taking off. <laughs> yeah. We are at Newcastle. They now, in theory, will overtake us in the air, right? At, where are we going to be at 10.50? At 10.50? Oh, we're going to be at be about an hour outside. No, 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 no. We're going to be about an hour, I'm sure. 10.50, no, 10.50. Oh, We've got, we, will, we will be oh, half hour away. Half hour away. <laughs> but they will overtake us in the sky. But then, they've got to do a tram, get out the airport. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm not worried about that. Walk. It's just the fact that we will still be on the train and they will overtake us in the sky, right? They technically will be in Scott in Edinburgh before us. Yeah. But just not <laughs> in a finished location. This is, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. So we're just sitting in now in Newcastle. <laughs> Wait, now look, so we've still got two hours, haven't we? No, no. Hour, hour 50 minutes. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Ain't too bad, is it? He's whistling soft like he's getting his Yeah, we're off, we're off. And our driver is on the money today. He's like, he, he loves it, doesn't he? He wants to get back to Champions League. He wants to get back to Champions League. That's true, though, isn't it? He's got to fly up there, drive the train back, get in the get, pub. Get, get in the, the pub, pub, yeah. Champions League. I can't believe they're going to overtake us. It's going to be weird. Well, but we can track them on that app, though, can't we? Yeah. The thing we can't do is track them. And when they land and get no, off they go, the they go dark, do not they? And when they get off, when they when they land, we, we don't know where they are. That's the thing. Okay. I just have to hope that we see them. They see us in the lobby. Yeah. So we're going to chill now, and then we'll update you just before we come into Edinburgh, so you know where we're at state of play before we get off, and then it'll be a race to the finish. So just been told a half an hour away. And they're quarter to 11, yeah. Which is 15 minutes late. Uh, yeah, 15 minutes About 15 behind. minutes behind. So that's all right. So um, at this point, I've decided now's the time for Sabrina what the rest of the plan is because I've got literally no idea. So what is it? Okay, get off the plane, right. get out of the airport, find the tram line, right. and it's the Link 100, I believe, south to St. David Street. Not north. No, not north, south. St David Street, I think it is, uh, and then we get off there and it's a 0.4 mile walk, which I reckon about 8 minutes to the hotel. We said walk, fast walk. Well, that's according to Google, so normal. So I reckon 6 minutes across. Yeah. So we're, depending on what time we get there, it depends on what yeah. kind of walk we'll be doing. Exactly. Depending on actually how long it takes to get out of the airport. It's as smooth as the way it is with minimal checks, so we should be alright. Yeah, I don't know this security checks on out, so I think I might be alright. <laughs> and apparently the trams are every 10 minutes, the library we need. So, so the worst case is 10 minutes waiting for a tram. Yeah. I'm good at this, that's my plan. Yeah, good math. Sorry. Sorry. Wicked. Well, we're going to enjoy the last half hour of the flight and say enjoy. Sit here and talk about some more rubbish. I mean, it's been really peaceful. Yeah, that's, yeah. I wonder how sore he's been getting on. I reckon his ears are probably <coughs> hurting now. Do you reckon he's eating any of his apples? I reckon he's had an orange. Orange? Yeah, so vitamin C. He cares about vitamin C. Because your immune system, you need that same for a Yeah, yeah, I've definitely been on the vitamin C. I wonder what they call it in the first class. I reckon the train staff have started ignoring them now. So they just want too much food. Yeah, they want too much food. And I reckon it's not very vegan. No, questionable. I wonder if I've got an eye in for a day. Do you reckon that? No, but they might have got one at the station in the way. Anyway, no. I enjoyed my breakfast. I did, I enjoyed my healthy porridge. Anyway, we'll see you uh, in the end. Bad news, they've overtaken us. They are like up there somewhere now. What we need now, what we need now yeah. is a power outage on the trams. Yeah, we need the trams to go down. So that, no, because then they'll have to get a cab. No, bus. Oh yeah, bus, yeah, bus. So they, they've now officially... No, that's true. They've officially overtook, they overtook us about 10.30 as a guess. 
and we are well we're still we're still not in Scotland yet we're coming up to the border um, oh, this is going to be so close all right here we go so we just cross it where we cross the river Tweed we're in Scotland yeah that's the unofficial well, I don't know it's the unofficial official border but basically we're soon going to be crossing into Scotland over this really cool looking bridge thing Cracking views on here. Don't get these views on the plane. There we go. Uh, so. River Tweed. Oh, it's better view out here. Now it's got it. Hmm. So we landed just about when they said we would at quarter to eleven. Then we took a while to get off the plane. Uh, we're off the plane into the airport. Um, allowed to take a little casual walk around really. I, I, I think we've got plenty of time. Famous last words, but we're now looking for the Air Link 100, which is over there by the looks of it, which is the express route into London, in, into London, into Edinburgh, um, which should take about half an hour. And I take contact with payments. So no ticket queuing or anything. So it might be this this bus here. What says 100 on it? every 10 minutes but at this rate we'll be straight on this one so we've made it onto the airlink express four pound fifty there it is ticket um and so they're meant to leave every 10 minutes so we have got i don't know when this one's leaving but less than 10 minutes till we go on uh and then in theory about half an hour into the city center and stops, what, about two minutes from the hotel? Yeah, not far. Not so we're just debating whether we, where we stop for lunch and coffee on the way to the hotel. I mean, we don't want to get there too early because that'd just be embarrassing, wouldn't it, for, for Chris and Simon. So we might stop off on route. But we'll, um, we'll show you where we end up. I wonder if we should ask if they want lunch. Do you get them coffee? We could do, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not. the kind thing to do, isn't it? And then we can get them, like, chocolate orange. Yeah. Like chocolate for afterwards, and then like maybe a vegan cheese sun sandwich. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, cool. We'll be nice like that. Anyway, we'll see you oh. in a bit. Worst thing as well is they've just got the bus, and that's quicker than getting the tram. So they got on that at ten past, and we are coming in Edinburgh, but we're gonna have to leg it. Good morning, services right, approaching Edinburgh Waverley. This is our final stop this morning. When leaving the train, please make sure you have all your luggage and personal belongings with you. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. So this is going to be really, really close. If you are close. changing onto local services, please keep your tickets she got the bus. If she, she ain't got the, if she got the train, the train, then we definitely would have won. But because she got the bus, it's going to be really, really close. So we're going to get a bit of a live on when we come out of here. As you can see. Tickets have to go out the station. Will we? We've got local knowledge as well here, by the way. Down here. Right, so off the bus, and now Sabrina said that it's down to me to get there with the directions on the street. So, um, good luck. So, so we've worked out that either the um, the boys are either running late and they're going to be a little while, or which our, our most likely suspicion is that they've. Um, got an earlier train than the one that they were supposed yeah. to be getting. We reckon the 658 from King's Cross, uh, which got them into Edinburgh at about 11.25. So they should have been at the hotel for about 20 minutes if that's the case. They've gone very quiet, very, very quiet. They've ignored a lot of FaceTimes. Face we, we were told to make sure that we check in by FaceTime. Yep. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there if our suspicion is correct. In which case we might just become detectives. Yeah. You know, why not? Anyway, so we're about to go under Waverley Station, or alongside it, something like that, which is where they would have come in, or will come in. 
um, and across the hotel, which is about a seven minute walk. So we'll see you when we get there. Seven minutes travel time. No, I'm five hours eighteen. Minutes. Not that that matters. Right. But we'll see. Just gonna take the picture for uh, the proof. Before we walk around the corner and see if they got the alien trunk. And we are. Yeah, we're here. I think we're in the picture of us in the lobby. See, oh, yeah, there you go. I thought so. The <laughs> earliest train. <laughs> Train. You'll see it on the video, it says that you got an earlier train. How do you know we've got an earlier because train? We're because stupid. we're not stupid. Oh, you've got proof you've got we got an earlier train. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're here now and the train's oh. not due in. Huh? <laughs> your 8 o'clock train? Yeah, we're on the 8 o'clock train. Yeah, yeah. We, we never said 8 o'clock train. No, we did. Yeah, yeah, you bet. We were on the train at 8 o'clock. We said we were getting the 8 o'clock train. Yes, we did. Did we? That's a category. Have you got it written down? What time did you leave this morning? Have you stopped? What's your total time? Five hours, seven minutes. Hours was out? 5.29. Yeah. Oh, to be yeah. fair, that's close. Yeah, yeah, and his was... 5.19, which is when I left home. Yeah. So, five, so it was 10 minutes different. Well, yeah. to be honest, that's a couple of minutes ago. So. We was here yeah. at 11.29. Yeah, we saw, we saw. 10, 10 minutes minute. difference. That's it, 10 minutes. And, you, from the, from and you've had this... station three in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, so we just walked like... past it. No, we ran up that alley. We ran up the alley. We had someone tell us where to go. Oh, There's an alley back down there. No, it's an alleyway with steps around the whole way up. So what we've, I think, so what we've proven today is oh, we've had a nice trip. Yeah. We've relaxed. Yeah. We've sat. We had, what, eight cups of tea? Yeah. Having apples. He, he had a sausage burger and a, a bacon roll. And? Didn't you have the avocado toast? No, no, it weren't, no, weren't available. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you've had to get on a, and a, a thing. You, how many, how many modes of transport way. you've had to do? Four. No, three. Car. Oh, walking. Yeah, car. car so, walk, bus, and there's ten minutes right. difference. So what we've proven, and we would have beat you even if you didn't get away. Yeah. So what we've well, proven, we always beat you if you get an earlier truck. No, what we, yeah, what we, well, we would have done. Forty-five minutes we were delayed. Fifty minutes. So probably would have been there or thereabouts. Yeah. But but the bottom line is, the we would win, have been like no, either way. But just to get it absolutely clear on the camera. The winner was the first two yeah. people in the foyer, yeah, in the lobby. Who was that? Did you? We're not, <laughs> right, we're not arguing about that. It's, it's like he thinks we're just It's a win, isn't it? Win's a win, isn't it, Si? Killed us running up the hill. Yeah, we, we almost <laughs> died, like, and I'm still blowing from running up the hill. I don't know why you ran up the hill. And we had some insider <laughs> knowledge know, as well. I didn't know how long you going to be. To be fair, we've been staying around here for now. We've been training Toby's done in six weeks, so. We just oh. took a nice Did you do ball. any running? Or here? Yeah. Oh, we ran a fall over no, the platform. We ran a fall over the platform. Oh, no, we we I, even had, I even said, as I ran up there, someone said, oh, look, there's 40 runs. <laughs> <laughs> no, we worked out, even you were miles behind and miles ahead, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. But the moral of the story is, we've won. Yes, well done, mate. Well, should we have some, what should we have? Is a congratulatory like, lunchtime meal or something? Yeah. Or we could have another cup of tea? No, no more tea. I'm all teed out. <laughs> we're all teed out. Right, that's it. Say bye, everyone, because it's all right, yeah. one. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, 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 it's gonna annoy them so much. <laughs>